Let's see. All right, I gave him a scrubby aggro paladin deck that I just came up with without actually playing it. We'll see if it works. It probably won't. But who knows? I think there will be cards you'll have to, like, switch out, but you'll kind of see the theme going on in there. Return. What was that? I'm just reading out the cards. Sword per barrel? Actually, fit. Yeah, it's a clear, but it'll kill all your shit, too. Most of your shit is one health man minions anyway, but yeah, it's exactly. about getting through the taunts. That worries me, though. It seems kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, it might be, but... It's better than equality? I need some... Use this. Thinking... Oh, what the fuck? They're pretty big. I would take out one of these. i take out Lord... They're off. Maybe add them in later after some testing. Throw this in. Yeah, it's one of those where, like, I, I agree with what you're saying, but it's one of those, like, Lord Baroth is, like, so under-costed for what he does. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, it's better in, like, a control paladin, though, I think. Anyway. I'm, I'm also thinking to, like, when you're doing Stealth Rogue, how many times you're trading the minions into the taunts anyway, that you might as well just, like, have one of them trade in, and then they were all going to die anyway, but you get the full damage in. And then also if things have Divine Shield on them, then they're not. But it's also about Order of Operations. Like, you could always play the bear off when you already have one health guys on the board, and then you end up buffing them or something, or giving them shields. Right. But yeah, I definitely see them more as a finisher, and it's just cheaper than a quality. Maybe you could do the five mana card instead that turns the enemy's health to one and the paladin gets the weapon. I feel like a weapon would be useful here. I thought I had the angler in there. If I don't then I should have. Because let's face it, the angler is like draw. Even though it's, you know, not really, but you know what I mean. Right. This would be good if we had a, like a charge menu.
There's not a lot of great charge minions, but you, it could either be a Reborn or a Divine Shield, and it's essentially the same thing. Because if they're having to spend, it's like not never going to be as fast as Face Hunter, but if they have to spend multiple cards in order to remove a threat, then it kind of builds up eventually. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're only hitting face. I don't see a Gregor getting too much value in this deck. Although, it, I guess it could be a counter to an enemy card. Like, if they play a huge minion, but then... Which card? Argent Bragger. So the key thing of why to keep it in there is A, it gets around the taunts, and B, it gets drawn by the uh, three mana, three one death rattle, draw the one health minions. Mm -hmm. It also goes insane with the uh, Blessing of Authority. But maybe you don't need two. I'll try how it is. All right, let's go, Poop Wiener. I think it's one of those where, like, a lot of Paladins keeps using that card to, like, make it, like, a 5-6 or something, but it might still be really, really good, even if you can make it be, like, a... Like, if it's at worst a 3-2, it's not a big deal. But if you can have it essentially copy a 3-cost card, then it's already, like, being a better value for the aggro side of it. Not really sure. Guess we'll find out. At least you got the first day of school at turn one already. <laughs> yeah. Always a help. This is against a rogue. This will be interesting. Going in blind. I don't have my statistics. The frontier, man. I know one of the other cards you want to try to get is that side quest I put in there. Because that lets you get a uh, turn on 3-6. Uh, These are great, but unless my opponent's minions are stealth. Well. You didn't go face, weird. Ah. Even this rogue isn't sure what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think you uh, play the Sky Claw and hit for four. Yup, that's it. So it's three because that's not a max. Oh right, right. I forgot about that part. So it's just, yeah, it is other max. Okay. Think. 
I guess the only real catch with all this is like, if you're gonna do this kind of deck, you might as well just do Morlock Paladin and swap out some of the cards. <laughs> I just want to know what this guy's doing with the stealth guy. Just chilling. Probably wants to use it to generate cards. I'm trying to think how Rogue removes the 8-8 eight eight besides Sap. Because if they don't, you'll get to summon uh, two eight eights next turn. Yep. Or two nine nines, I mean. Which is also kind of why I'm not sure whether to put kings in instead, because then you'd be able to do it turn six. But I think you're going to get away with it. It seems so. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Do it. I play it. Can I buff it first? It's an important thing. Okay, no. No, you can't. I don't have anything else that would do it. Well, there's the two mana card, maybe, but. I don't know. Not a poison. What am I going to do about this poison? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> I can't tell if that was a good test. I, I don't know. What do I even want? A one drop. I want a one drop. I think you veto all three of these. Yeah. I want a hard mulligan for something that costs one at the beginning. Nope. Maybe I'll draw it. Nope. Alright. At least you can play the 3-1. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Man, I threw a lot of one drops in there too. <laughs> I mean, counting first day of school, it's one third of the deck. Oh man. Oh boy. Here we go. Am I really gonna draw Micro Mummy? To make, just to lull him into a false sense of Libra and Paladin.
Ah, uh, fuck you, bitch. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's right. You just go face him. Actually, I don't have as many one-drops as I thought. I guess I did an edit and didn't realize it. I have to fix that. There's a lot of two-drops in there. I was gonna say, I think you should go more aggro, because they have to draw to you, since you have the card advantage. Yeah, but he's faced, so... I gotta okay. not let him face me. Face runs the 5-4? Not usually. This could be, um... Islander. Has he played two of the same card yet? No, and he's playing, uh, he's playing Toxic Reinforcement, so it's probably Highlander Hunter. I think you should draw two cards this turn. Is that explosive trap? Oh my god. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh. I got him nice and scared if he's using that. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh. Yeah, part of the reason I kind of wanted to keep that side quest too was because there's that minion. There's the two minions that draw you cards or give you coins based on when you play, if you have a quest out. And Sanctuary is either gonna get you that 3 6 when you need it or it's going to uh, let you have a permanent quest, I guess. Well, that might be a little too greedy compared to like one more one drops. Like Argent Squire might be really good instead. It ain't Highlander. No. Kinda really reminds me of my deck, except minus the dragons. I think it's last expansion Space Hunter. With some uh some added fun. Fuck, alright. Explosive. I guess you were dead on four anyway, but. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot less one drops than I thought there were in there. Still uh, ten. Well, eight. 
Yeah, and blasting a mite's not really a one drop you can start with. Oh yeah, right. Go six. Has potential, but I need stuff that can buff like all my minions. Like I have the one side quest, but that doesn't feel like it's enough. Who are we hitting today? There's the Never Surrender card. Secret when your opponent casts the spell, give your minions plus two health. Or, yeah, I don't like the idea of having the Libram in there, to be honest. On winds of destruction they come. What? Aw, oh, shower death, son of a bitch. <laughs> There's so much dumb shit. Ugh. Is that a beast? No. Uh, but yeah, but now you like can one. Now you can get the, uh, the side quest out, though. That's true. If you traded. Yeah, I do. There is a beast in there, but it's the three mana, three one. Oh, and the swine walks. There are actually quite a bit of beasts in here. <laughs> oh, I can't shadow word it. Wow. Oh, you did. No. I was say, that's the... Oh, that's a big thing. I don't know if it'll clear, though. Oh no, it's in Shadow Word range. Well, if he uses both deaths by now, then that makes your 8 8 good to go. Oh, you know what? I just realized your board gets filled pretty quick. Maybe, maybe the answer is getting that giant. Oh, yeah. That could be useful. I can play that for cheap and then play Argent Boy. Yeah. Might not need the eight. You might not need that five mana spell thing anymore then. I 
kind of wish this thing did run secrets in case you get the blackjack stunner. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say. It's okay. I have a backup. Damn it. Yeah, it's these big health guys we kind of have an issue with. Now that I think about it, I think we might want that secret after all, the secret that does the two health thing. I'll have to kind of like figure out what to trade out. Mm. So that secret almost hard counter is the soul mirror. What a weird deck this is, too. Yeah, what the hell?
Wow. Wow, wow. Did you see what it did? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> It's like a dragon value priest. I guess. I guess they got him to diamond. Well, or, you know, it's the skill floor, too. Could just be playing a deck to play deck. Yeah, true. Ugh. God. I don't think I'm getting out of this pickle. I don't think so, either. Yeah, that legendary might happen. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this guy run mind control? That'd be hilarious. It's gonna be beautiful. I think I'm gonna head to bed. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing too. Ugh. All right, we'll, we'll workshop it.